Cause I'm searching, I'm searching for that special place. Welcome to Civilization 6, my fellow friends. A new series on the channel. That's right, a brand new series featuring a new game. I'm super pumped. This is a game that I have not really played very much of. It's possible I played way back when I was much younger, about 15 years ago, because it's been out for a long time, and I was there when the first game came out. Oh, baby, I was probably a teenager, honestly. And Sid Meier was one of my inspirations to get into my real-life job which, as a game developer, and uh, so he was, a, he was a true inspiration. Not this particular game, but some other stuff he did. Anyways. Uh, let's just jump right into it. So I have played a little bit of this game, about three hours, just to familiarize myself with it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new game. We're going to go and mess around with some of these ideas. So let's see here. Uh, choose game speed. Let's leave that on standard. Let's leave the game difficulty as is. There's some pretty cool stuff here. I don't know what any of these are. We're just going to pick one. Let's see. Shuffle? Um, maybe not shuffle. Four Leaf Clover, Civilizations begin in four balanced regions, that's kind of cool. Island, Plates. Islands is Boats, Boats can be tricky. Pangea, one massive landmass with surrounding islands. That could be cool. I like the continents idea though. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go with the continents idea. Oh my gosh. Huge, enormous map for 12 players. Hello, let's go big, because I love me some exploring. Oh yeah, let's do that. I'm not even going to touch the advanced setup because I lack any reference point skills or any concept of what's going to make this great. Uh, same goes for the leadership stuff. I don't know which re leader to pick. There are so many. I mean, these are all, oh, look at all these people from history, man. This is so cool. I mean, I'm tempted to just kind of go with Japan or, oh, go India. That would be tough. I did play this guy, I did play um, Gilgamesh, the Sumerians, it was pretty fun, but I, I say, I say we leave it to fate, how about you guys? I'm scared because <laughs> there's some pretty funky guys out there, and if we get the wrong one, this could, <laughs> could not gel too well with my play style, so, boom, From let's the see, first oh of yeah, life, oh this is gonna be good, the Chinese Empire. Beasts of the Stone Let's listen to this no lovely to voiceover. Man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Qin Shi Wong. From all over the world, others will come to gaze upon the great walls and towering wonders of your united China. May the hands of your men never blister as they work hard and fast to raise the most impressive structures that the world will ever know. Protect them well, and you will forever be immortalized. Oh, are you pumped? Does not that get you just all revved up just to play some civilization? Anyways, it does for me. This is cool. I think this guy is going to definitely match our play style. Okay, so let's look at some of the things we can do here. When building ancient and classical wonders, you may spend builder charges to complete 15% of the original wonder cost. No idea what that means, but we'll figure it out. Builders receive an additional charge. Okay, cool. Eureka's and Inspirations provide 60% of civics and technologies instead of 50%. Sounds good to me. Crouching Tiger, then Dragon, uh, a unique <laughs> land unit. Okay, cool. And the Great Wall, a unique improvement. Okay, well, let's just jump right into this game. Greetings, my lord. Ooh, hello. As your personal advisor, I am qualified to assist you in all matters related to ruling our civilization. I am at your service. Well, we're definitely new. Let's just say we're new to civilization. So we'll get, hopefully, tips based on that. Okay, we're greeted with a map. Let's dive right in. Now, like I said, I've done a, I've done a little bit of playing. So... Right now, this is our settler, and we've got to pick a spot. We've got to pick a place to lay our foundations for our burgeoning, 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 <laughs> burgeoning empire. The empire that will rule them all. <laughs> uh, so, if we look around, we've got resources. So, it looks like we've got a cattle resource, which requires animal, 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 Hannibal. I was thinking animal. What? <laughs> animal husbandry. Looks like we've got uh, a warrior. Okay, that's a unit that can move around. That's cool. We've got a settler. We've also got some rice, which is a bonus resource. Doesn't 
I don't know what that means. We've got stone, stone, stone. These are good resources. What's this over here? A tea. A luxury resource. Ooh. And over here it looks like a donkey, but it's actually a horse. We can move the map around. It looks like it's got a fog of war. It looks like there's terrain details. Can I click on this? Is this... Do we get information if we click on it? I don't, I don't know. Apparent, I, I, how do you get information? Is there a way to find out what each of these tiles is? I can't figure it out yet. Oh, and if I didn't announce this already, guys, this series is about a noob playing a game. So if you guys can help me out. Oh, here, Grassland. That said something there. How come it said Grassland? Do we leave our mouse and then... Oh, don't move your mouse and all will be revealed. So as if we don't move our mouse... Each tile presents us with information. This one is grassland. It says movement cost of one. Well, I assume that has to do with units and it's gonna cost one movement. Appeal, average. Okay, I can understand that. It's grassland, you know? Who, yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing to look at, right? It's just a bunch of freaking grass. Continent, Atlantica. Okay, so apparently there's continents. And this thing generates two food. Let's leave our mouse here for a second. This one generates three food. It's rice and it's river. Okay, so this one definitely has a little bit of difference. What does this one do? This one generates three food. Interesting. Is that more than this one? It is. Are those... Wow. Those sounds are loud. I, I turned down the volume, but let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get those cranked down because that is freaking loud in my ears. Oh. Your Majesty. You can be loud because I want to listen to you. Okay. There we go. Whew. Much better. Hopefully good for you guys. So, I guess... I mean, there's a reason why they put you where you are. You know, let's tippy toe around a little bit with our guy. Aha! See, we've exposed something now. We've exposed some wheat, some wheat, and some crabs. I hate crabs. No, I actually love eating crabs. Just don't get crabs. This is too mature of a reference for most of you. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, um, leave it there. Okay, so this one gives us gold. So this one earns us gold and food. Okay. Anyways, we require sailing. We don't have a boat. We can't go there. Let's just freaking settle this bad boy. We're going to found a city. Hoo-ya! I think that I think that's Jean or it's not Juan. I think it's Jean. I hope so. I please if I ever butcher a name, correct me. It's really important to me. I do not want to say things incorrectly. So if However you pronunciate that, I would love to know. And look at the music. The music's lovely. Okay, so we're greeted with... Oh, and if you didn't already notice, this is a time... Sorry, a turn-based game. So I can just sit here and stare at the screen for hours, and it doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen until I actually do something. So down in, down in the lower right here, we're, we have things we need to do. And currently, it's asking us to choose a production. Now, production is something to do with this city the city this town is going to produce something over a certain number of turns the turns are listed right here this is what these are these are the basics that i know so far <laughs> again always correct me if i'm wrong uh okay so i have a vague strategy in mind we're gonna build a scout first and the scout's gonna take eight turns we're on turn number one it's gonna be a little while before we get that but luckily enough we've got our little warrior guy over here and he's going to be able to look around for us i'm not really going to be able to move because he's out of moving points moving points listed right here zero of two i don't remember moving two but maybe this one costs two i don't know okay next up this is going to constantly prompt us on what we need to do so we have to choose research this game is all about research. It's a it's a strategy game, right? So look at all the stuff we can learn. I'm scrolling by, scrolling by it really fast. I haven't even looked at all of this stuff. But it goes basically from the vast medieval times all the way up to the present day and the near future and I think even beyond. So we're just going to go ahead and pick something based on our complete lack of knowledge of how to do this. All of these things here seem good, but let's let's step back for one second. I can tell you this, on our property, we have stone, we have rice, and we have cattle. So we know the cattle requires husband, husbandry, and this one requires mining. So that means it's a 50-50 toss up between learning mining and the cows. And to be fair, they take nine turns each. I'm just gonna go with mining. I don't know if that's the right move, but that's the one we're going to go ahead with. We're going to try that out. Okay. Boom. Let's hit the next turn button. 
will introduce you to other things that I know a little bit about in the next few turns. Now, there's some advanced stuff that I have no freaking clue about, and that's this stuff here. Manage citizens. You can apparently move your workforce around. Let's take a look here. We have one building, zero religious citizens. We have one amenity, one housing, and seven turns until we get growth. If we turn this up, if we actually pump our resources, our, our, our guys into harvesting food, it's going to take four, four turns until growth. If we pump it into this, it's going to take seven turns until complete. Is this moving? Is that changing? Not really. Ch Ooh, I'm like doing a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's do that. Does that change anything? I'm not sure yet. Because we're not actually building anything. No, we are. Seven turns until complete. Okay, let's just pump the food for now. Because I think growth, getting more population, more people to do stuff is important. You can see the code of laws up here. This is um, civic trees. So this is a secondary tree of knowledge that you gain and these are all these unlock various things so let's just stop for a second the first one's going to give us some basic things like survey um discipline sorry discipline which is military survey which is also military god king i don't know what these are used for we're going to find out in 14 turns apparently or maybe faster we'll see okay that being said our turn's over so we're going to run our turn hey these guys moved a little bit Interesting enough. So down here it says units need orders. That means somebody somewhere needs to do something. And we're just going to continue exploring with these warrior units. We're going to go one at a time. And apparently that's all we can move anyways. We probably went the wrong way because walking through trees and stuff costs more than one movement. Which is cool. I like that. I do like that a lot because terrain has a cost. Hills are more expensive. Flat plains are less expensive. Crossing a river might be more expensive, I think. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Also, here you can see what we're producing. We're producing a scout. And this is our level. Level 1. Our, or our town level. Up here you can see some other things that I'm still learning about. So we have science. We're earning a certain amount of science from citizens. Wow. I was going to say citizens. Hello brain. Hello mouth. We're learning some stuff. Some of it's coming from the cities, and it tells you which city it's coming from. So this city right here, Jean, that's where it's coming from. And we're not generating any faith right now. Now, how do we generate faith? That's interesting. We'll figure that out. But not right now, because we're out of things to do. We're basically killing time, waiting for our scout to get made. Okay, so now we can move. We can do a little bit of exploration. Exploration is the name of the game. We definitely went the wrong way here because we're running into a bunch of flipping hills, but that's okay. So seven more turns until these things happen. Let's just keep exploring and see what we can find. I'm hoping we find something cool. I don't know. There's cities and other guys to find. Ooh, look at this. This is neat. Looks like we got some fish. So we got crabs, fish, wheat. We also got some more rice. Why did we pop to the center like that? Okay. Oh, see here we can move two. Our explorers have spotted another friendly tribal village. Oh, cool. I suggest we send a scout to investigate. Okay. Why do we send a scout? Tribal villages are less civilized than other civilizations, but are friendly nonetheless. Visiting tribal villages provides a random benefit to, to the civilization of the unit that first enters their tile. The village disappears after its gifts have been claimed. The gifts include... Survivors such as builders or traders, technology or technology boost, military units, faith, gold, relics, or civic boosts. In case you didn't see that, that was the, the uh, Civlopedia. Okay, well that's fantastic. It doesn't say you have. It says you have to go as a scout, but it doesn't say you have to go as a scout. So I'm gonna try going in as these guys since we don't have a scout, uh, and we'll just go ahead and hopefully. Our city continues oh. to prosper. Already our people thrive. And our population grows. Wonderful. Okay, so we're now level two. Your city will grow or add more citizens with surplus food. Any amount of food over the total consumption of a city's citizens, two per, is considered surplus and is added to, as progr pro progress, progress towards a new citizen. A city will add a surplus food towards growth of its current population is two more okay all right so blah 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 more blah 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 a city will stagnate and not grow if it does not have a surplus of food good note always go to the end folks because that's where all the important information is all right so this guy 
Gina Vemba Zinga, Yeke, Panambot. Ngeti Monavo, Losambuka, Quata Tanzambi. Keti Luna Vava Mukabula and Temuen. Very cool. Okay. I am. I, I'm going to butcher this. Memba, ba, Memba, Zinga, Nzinga, uh, Nzinga. Mem, I, I, I got to listen to him say it again. From Congo. Okay, cool. This is cool, man. This art, this art, the facial expressions are brilliant. It's absolutely an honor to meet you. Let us exchange information as we exchange wisdom. Tell me of your capital. Is it a holy city? Absolutely. Okay, so I clicked something there. I shouldn't have clicked. The villagers share a secret of their well-organized community. Your progress towards foreign trade has advanced considerably. Oh, this is awesome. Woo. Well, that makes me excited. So we learned something new. This is good. This will be something that comes up later. You'll see down the road, we'll have already progressed about 50%. So that cuts down the amount of turns required. But where's our guy? Our guy? Oh, there he is. He's still there. Okay. Who's this? A Congo warrior. Okay, so that's who... Oh, here we go. Here he is. His 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 town's over here. So we've already discovered a population. So we're on friendly terms right now, as you can see up here. Empire Congo. Um, We could send a delegation, but we're going to save our money just for now. Okay, so that is good. We've got five turns left. We've got nothing else to do. Let's go. Here's a... Here, here's a come and explore, and this is cool. We're not going to fight him. That would be bad. We don't need to declare war yet. Looks like we found another horse resource. This is good. So let's move our units down here. Try to expose a little bit more. Looks like we found some cotton. Okay, cotton's good, I guess. I don't know. These are all new resources to me. Four more turns until we get our scout. Let's take a look, like a closer look at our people management skills. Oh, looks like one turn until our border grows. And looks like we're actually going to take over... Uh, a stone area and look in three turns we're gonna get mining so that's that's pretty good i don't know if there's anything else i can do that's more efficient right now so i'm just gonna leave it like that we're getting eight food for eight food per tick another five turns we're gonna grow so let's just go ahead and do that these guys are coming up to say hi now there i do know there are bad guys there are bad guys in the in the uh the form of Barbarians, so we gotta watch out. But look, I think we found another town. I don't know if 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 we can go see say hello, but we will go say hello, and we'll have to do that in the next episode. Up here, you can see we're making some gold. We're getting 5.2 gold. Very interesting. That's decimal from cities. So that's cool. That's very cool. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's keep going. I, these guys are we're on friendly terms with these guys, so I don't mind them going ahead and exploring and checking out the neighborhood. It's all good, guys. Welcome, welcome to my area. Okay, let's go. Units oh, scouts baby! We got a recon you unit! Gain experience by Woo. Exploring and discovering parts of the world. Wow, that was fortuitous, because that's exactly what we're building right now. Amazing! What's this guy? A Congo scout. Woo! So you can see this, this guy is new to us, but he needs orders. Hello? I mean, this is the shore, so we don't want to go this way. I say we go here. Oh, what's this? Coffee, a luxury resource. Nice. Requires irrigation. Okay, well, that's something we can look at getting later. Ooh, wow. That was exploration in the in the beginning game, the early game, is incredibly important from what I've gathered. It just gets you places so much quicker. Okay, we're a lot's gonna happen in the next turn. Watch this. We're gonna finish the mining which is really good. So we're going to be able to get some of this stuff. Who deserves more credit than the Woo. wife of a coal miner? Okay. Well, that was it. <laughs> so apparently we're going to be able to build a mine, which adds one to production. If built on a luxury or strategic resource, city will gain the use of this resource. Interesting. Okay. If we build a quarry, it can only be built on stone, marble, or gypsum. If built on a luxury resource, city will gain use of that resource. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to keep exploring this way. Looks like we're getting a bit better of the lay of the land. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll bring, we'll bring our barbarian guys up this way. So I'm going to send him our scout. We're going to go one of its. We're going to go here. Okay. That looks like an inland sea there. Where then we're going to go over here. We're just going to expose this area. That looks like tundra. Let's go leave our finger there. 
produces one food. Okay, so yeah, this is very freaking awesome. Let's just leave this here. So it has two production and two food. Actually, I want to click on this. And let's go ahead and look at this here. Okay, now you can see what it produces. We can also buy these tiles. We're going to save our money for now. But this one's producing two, and then two food, and then if we put something on it, it's going to, get, going to give us a bonus resource, uh, of which um, that would be stone. All right, all right, we're learning, we're learning. Okay, let's finish out today's episode with picking something on the, resor uh, the research tree. Let's look at the tree real quick. We just did mining. If we do masonry, 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 pfft, heck man, <laughs> masonry, a bronze working or the wheel. So it's going to take 22 turns to do these things. Wow, that's a long time. Although we could do writing, but we would need to do pottery first. Pottery would give us the granary, which is housing. And this little lady here is kind of saying, this is what I recommend. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. Apparently, you can also do shift. So I can shift click this is the next thing we're going to do. And I'm going to do that as well. That's going to be what, is it, what it'll do. Actually, let's just take it easy. Let's not do that. Oh, I didn't know that. If you right click on it. Let's just do pottery. Seven turns from now, we'll get pottery. Although, to be fair, getting animal husbandry might be the better way to go. But we'll start with pottery. And then we'll completely change our mind because that's what I do. Animal husbandry doesn't get me where we need to be. Animal husbandry leads us to horseback riding, which then leads us to stirrups, which then can branch over to banking for some reason. No, oh, it can branch here as well. Apprenticeship. Uh, let's just mm, let's just go with pottery because these to me seem more relevant in the near future. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. I'm going to try to keep these episodes around 20-ish minutes. Because I'm a complete noob at playing this game, I would love your feedback and your help playing it. So make sure you toss some comments down below. Anyways, that's it. If you like this video, make sure to bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button. As always, comments in the section down below. My name is Crash, and I'm out.